Hello there. Cole's here, and I'm here again in LEGO Worlds doing another tutorial video where today I'm going to show you how to unlock all the objects in LEGO Worlds in Adventure Mode very easily and quickly. So, the first thing you want to do is I believe you have to get to 10 gold bricks uh, and the Explorer Builder title to unlock sandbox mode. Once you have sandbox mode uh, you can open up a world that is sandbox mode. It's uh, Winter Wonderlands, classic space they seem to be, and the monster biome thing, but I haven't bought that DLC. Or just a regular world that you can find a random world. Let's do that. Right, we don't even need to do that. We just need to go to sandbox mode. Yeah, so uh, never mind. Select a world. And you want to be in sandbox mode. Okay, and now that you've opened your sandbox mode world, I would suggest you find a flat area to do this, as it's going to be the easiest way and the quickest sufficient way to do it. Alright, you're going to want to flatten quite a big area just because there is a lot of objects that we will be placing. Then just get, get rid of everything on here because it's it's just a waste of space and we don't need it. Get rid of that, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Just clear the whole area. And then what you can do next to make it even easier is get out the copy tool. And what we're going to do with this is just make it as big as we can by holding down A. So we want like the biggest area like that. Then let's copy that. And that is how big the copy area can be. So we're using this as like a template. So we'll just make it much quicker for us. Because that's the area we can save with the copy tool. So we can just place a load of these. Really, the more the better because, well, there is a lot of objects. Now, in this game save, I've already unlocked, I think I've discovered like 450 of the objects. But it doesn't really matter. Because it's going to be the same however many objects you have. In my main game save, I only had... I think maybe 100 or 200 or something left to unlock. And I used this trick to unlock all of them. Alright, and then you want to start placing the objects. Now... The reason we're in sandbox mode is because all the objects are already, you know, already unlocked because it's sandbox mode. So we would just want to go ahead and place one of everything, pretty much. Some objects will need more space than others, obviously, because some are quite large and some are just pretty small. I don't know why this one needs all that amount of space, because it's only a stick. Right, it's small. So I don't know. Okay, so you get the picture. 
because um, in sandbox mode you already have access to every single object that's available in the game so you can literally just go into the menu and place every single one which I'm not going to do right now let's place some bigger ones just uh, so it's just basically a demonstration of how this works so it's not really important if I do them all or not and it does still take a bit of time to do it but it's a lot quicker than actually exploring they having to spend, you know, hundreds of hours exploring, finding every single item individually, which is very annoying. Let's add some of these. And I think we're nearly doing the rare yellow apple tree. Let's put that there. What else have we got? Thread crate that I'd never seen before. Small or as I used to say, a small geezer. Let's get this other windmill as well. Oh yeah, that's the dodgy one. You can get it, but it's better if you... If you use the discovery, this discovery tool instead of the one in the free build. Get the discovery tool and then place it some reason it doesn't want to work when you're using the free build tool it just goes weird all right so here we go have a load of props and we're just going to make this as big as we can make it and pretty much all you're going to do is you're going to fill up all of these template things with every single prop in, in the menu, as I said before. Then get this around the template thing. And very nice, that should be all of them in it, I hope. I don't think we've missed any there. Yeah, they all seem to be in it. That's good. Let's get another screenshot there. And then all you have to do is save that as a build. But then you can't just save the props on their own as a build. You actually have to have bricks. So that's why we've got like the snowy brick template thing. And we save that, it doesn't matter what you, what you name it. And then you want to go to return to rockets. And then go to your adventure mode game. Where is mine? Because I don't really play on this game save much, I don't have any big worlds, so this one I'll have to do. What the heck? That cape always does that. It's so weird and glitchy. Alright, now you're in your adventure mode game, you can go ahead and place the build that we just made in sandbox mode. So I'm kind of too early in the game and haven't actually even unlocked the free build tool. But that's okay because you can still do it with the discovery tool. So it's not really much space in this world. So we just have to make it work. You want to find the build that you just created in sandbox mode. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Right, yeah, you can see it's pretty big, and that's kind of a problem because 
we need it as one whole build. Like we don't want stuff touching it really. So if I go ahead and put it there. And as you can see it will build with all the props on. You can't actually see them yet because it hasn't finished. And now it has. And there they all are. So you can go up to your build. And you can see all the props that you put in your build. But you'll notice that you can't unlock them. They all show up red. Every single one, I think. Except the ones you've already unlocked. So that one there, I already have. And a few others. But on the most part, I have unlocked many of them, in fact. So, now what you have to do is get the copy tool and you're pretty much doing the same thing again you're just copying this whole platform with all the objects on let's try and get the whole thing on yep I think we have all of it and then click copy And once you've clicked copy, it should be pretty straightforward from there. You just need to paste it somewhere, so right there should do. And then get out of that tool. And now go into your copied one. And voila. They can all now be unlocked, and you can buy them. Very easy. You can pretty much, yeah, you can do this for every single prop, every single object in the game. There's the rare yellow apple tree. The Nexo Knight windmill thing that I don't think you can actually get in adventure mode otherwise. Um, I don't know why you can't get that one. Oh, it's because we've already, un already unlocked it. Like, because you can't destroy traps or get rid of them without, like, properly breaking them. So they're kind of a, um, an offset to the rule. But everything else, you can just unlock it very easily. Now, obviously this still takes a bit of time to actually go around and, you know, put everything on these platforms, load them into the game and then go around and lock in every single build, but it is a lot quicker. And it's useful for me especially because I kind of spend most of my time building, so I just want all the, all the objects that are already available so I can build whatever I want. And that's pretty much it. Now we just go around and lock in every single item. Which is pretty fun actually because, you know, Lego Worlds is fun when you unlock stuff. So, yeah, if you still have objects to find in your adventure mode but you don't want to you know spend hours looking for them then go and give this a try because it's very good so yeah i hope you enjoyed that little tutorial and found it useful and hit the thumbs up if you did and consider subscribing for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video. You're not supposed to turn around and wave. All the other characters managed to do it.
There we go.